Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to build SEPA based AI agents. In this example, we have a very simple blueprint. You've got the agent, which is set up here, that is connected to a skill set. This is the tool belt that contains all the skills associated with the agent. We also have this new SQL capability or what we call ability in chatbot kit, which is connected directly to SEPA base. That's the SEPA base URL here. And of course we have the SEPA base credential as well. If that's all set up correctly, just like that, we can now use this within Collabo, which is our agent testing environment. So I'm going to simply type the agent name and ask for a list of the books that are available in the database. And if the query was successful, I will get the number of books and also the authors. You can see here that this is the query that was performed by the agent. So let's try another query. And as you can see, we can get more information. So this is what we're aiming for. Let's see how it was created. So going back to my SIPA base account, this is the schema for this database. We simply have books, reviews, and authors. Each table is straightforward. You can see the schemas here, but also I can actually review the table itself. So as you can see here, we have only two titles in the table and I can extend it with additional titles. The only thing that we need in order to make that connection is to obtain our credentials. In order to do that, you simply need to click on the connect button and switch to the app framework tab within SEPA base. Within the app framework tab, we have two pieces of information, which we need to copy to set up our integration. So let's do that. All right. Here we have a blank blueprint. We have the bot and just the skill set. So the first thing to do is to drag the SEPA base query function. We can also use the SEPA base RPC function, which means that we can call into a SQL store procedure as well. We're going to just focus on the first one for now. I'll drag it in. I need to fill two pieces of information, which I can copy from my project. The first one is the SEPA base URL. So I'll copy this and paste it inside the URL field. And the last one is the credential. So let's do the same. Copy the credential and paste it inside the value field. I'll call this bot book bot so that we can differentiate it from all the others. Click on build. This is all done. Let's test it again. And as you can see, we have retrieved the two books that we have in the database. This is a quick tutorial how to connect to SAPA base. And as you can see, it's straightforward. This unlocks all kinds of capabilities because now you can focus on building a great database with SAPA base and you can use ChatbotKit to deliver that database in front of your customers. Thank you for listening.